Hello and welcome to this overview of the material or the lightweight material pack volume 3 which has only five shaders for half of the price. Um, thought of doing that so that I can publish more uh, smaller packages uh, in less time. And so this uh, material pack includes three shaders. First of them being this old TV shader which allows you to change the number of pixels and the width and height of each pixel as well as the brightness and obviously some tiling and offset for the original image all right second one being procedural um, rain or, or, or rotor, water ripples and you can change the uh, strength of each ripple or the ripples as in uh, a normal map the speed and the tiling and this uh, these two f are for the blend with um, blending the, the color based on the depth all right the fourth one is procedural shapes which you can change the tiling how many sides of the shape and the width and height um, so this is um, uh, I guess this is the minimum the maximum the minimum maximum of uh, the randomness between uh, for the width and for the height uh, color brightness is just a, a multiplier for the color and the rotation speed is also randomized and this controls the maximum rotation speed all right and the fourth one is this fake interior which uh, you can create using a cube map just you can bake a cube map uh, in unity and you will have this um, and you can unwrap it basically using this technique and this is just a normal cube there is no actual geometry inside uh, and so this is very good for performance for like big uh, uh, buildings and whatnot and you can change obviously the tiling how many windows and you can also notice that uh, there is a randomness for the tint of the uh, light you can say what's the color of the light inside of the room uh, you can change the depth of the room um, and you can you have to uh, give what's the uh, outside texture and uh, a normal map for that and the last one is the twisted corridor save which looks something like this i think i didn't do the lighting correctly let's clear these um, all right and so it's based on the position of the camera as you can see and you can control stuff uh, can obviously control uh, what how much twist is going on 
and you can also change the uh, the axis in which the twisting is happening so this is one on the x so it's, it's only on the x-axis if you do half and then half on the y then it will be like this it would go uh, this way right and if you just put it on the y then it will only go to the right right oops so that's it you can find the link for the asset in the description uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and catch you in the next one